hello my good students welcome back to our war on the sea let's play series i'm going to start off with a little apology and that is because uh i'm very sorry that uh, it was starting at night time on here in the dark um away from everything else can't really help it um but i'm um, starting over here especially we'll see when we get on the campaign map we it looks like we have a uh, submarine very very close to our yamato task force i'm not going to start off over there um, so joining us in the stormy uh, weather, the early hours of the morning uh, from when we last left off, um, where we got bombarded on Guadalcanal. So we had our um, level 4 airfield reduced to a level 2, just, just like that, out of nowhere. No effort put in whatsoever from the enemy. They did that and left. How rude of them to just come in, slap us about and leave with no explanation. So uh, we're going to be looking for our revenge today. Um, looking back on it, we really should have just gone and forced a surface engagement while we knew where they were. Uh, probably could have um, knocked off the wasp then, uh, maybe even a cruiser or two. Um, you never know. But I was a little bit scared that um, they had uh, perhaps two battleships there because it wasn't entirely clear that um, it was in fact a, a wasp there. It might have been a bogue or whatever. Exactly uh, the same task force which we did see uh, in the previous episode. But uh, hopefully we'll find out today. Hopefully we'll spot something. There was evidence, as you may remember from the previous episode, that uh, there were two aircraft carriers about. What was it? was about 60 ish uh, enemy aircraft about in one engagement. Absolutely no way that the wasp has that sort of aircraft on its deck. Um, so let's just go straight over to the uh, strategic map and uh, form some sort of plan, shall we? And I think first things first, you see this is what I mean, uh, there's a possible four ships here, um, that's got to be submarines, um, but we can't actually launch any aircraft at the moment to scout us out. Um, unfortunately we are just going to have to go in with our uh, Masashi task force here, um, because we do have a lot of DD to sort us out and just hope for the best really. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about with that is, um, well there's two things I'm worried about, time of day, where the visibility is going to be absolutely dreadful um, and that's the biggest worry to be honest the second is uh, what sort of position the uh, enemy subs are going to appear when we do come into uh, contact there um, might actually be worth and we're not going to do that we're going to kite away I uh, hope they don't catch up with us. We do only have about uh, half an hour or 25 minutes or so until we're able to launch uh, aircraft. So we can just scout that out with uh, some uh, bombers of some sort, can't we? Maybe even some jakes with, uh, with uh, depth charges on. So have a look at that. I think that's probably the more prudent way to go about it. Um, we're also going to bring Yamato into the Masashi Task Force to form a vanguard. So we have a slower, more powerful um, force or task force available. And then we can have the uh, um, lighter but still hard-hitting uh, three-cruiser task force here that's going to move around a little quicker. So let's do that. We'll see what we can do about this sub first, shall we? Okay, so we did actually lose contact with that submarine for now. Actually, no, having said that, where is that? Task Force 37, go to, here we go. All right, so it might just get um, the submarine here. That is with, um, we have just uh, taken the Yamato out of this large force here. So we do have quite a lot to deal with that. Uh, before we go in, I'm gonna go line ahead and reposition a few ships here. So we're going to get um, Hatsitsuki and Arashio at the, big, at the uh, lead of the formation. Uh, I think we're going to get the Atago to uh, swap the uh, Nizuki there as well. So let's try out our luck here then. Go into the tactical map, um, make sure everyone has their sonars and radars on. Going to go down to a slow, slow speed so we can pick up any um, torpedoes and contacts as soon as we go in. And there we go. So, uh, where have they been spotted? They've been spotted right at the back next to a destroyer. So, that's actually um, not bad at all, to be honest. We're going to break with this destroyer. Um, the question now is whether we should um, f uh, reverse or not. I'm going to reverse and turn our stern to port side there. Uh, I'm going to break off with the um, Sendai here. Uh, it does have um, depth charges, so I'm actually going to tell it to turn out over towards the uh, submarine. Otherwise, things are going to break off and just disappear. 
going to absolutely get out of there. A Sasha can come round, I think, because it is uh, not on the right uh, lead there for the uh, torpedoes there. Should be absolutely safe. Just tell everyone to turn out uh, somewhat erratically um, to either side there, just so we don't get hit. I am expecting the torpedoes to curve up to, uh, into our formation there, um, assuming they don't go straight for the uh, old Nami here. So we shall see. Can we see them in the water there? Yeah, they're just there. Uh, like I said, we are expecting them to turn into the formation, and indeed they are. So it looks like they made the right decision so far. We have two submarines. Interesting. That is very interesting. Um, Going to actually turn Mogami out as well. Turn everything out uh, this side. Uh, we're going to turn, having said that, the Nizuki round, I think, to try and come combat the second sub. Send, I should really speed up. Yeah, and there's the second send. This is extremely dangerous. Extremely, extremely dangerous here. Uh, Sendai, you're gonna turn a bit harder, perhaps. Turn a little harder, please. Mogami should be going quicker and harder as well. There's a third submarine, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Um, gonna get Sendai, I think, to launch depth charges on the number one, whereas the Onami can turn for the number two, I think. Looks like we're going to avoid most of the torpedoes. Uh, if we change everyone's course just a little harder, Tonic can just carry on straight as it is, that'll be fine. Hatsutsuki can just uh, change its course a little bit. That's the wrong button, meant to press N. A fat finger a hell of a lot. Just turn a little harder, please, Mogami. Yeah, we've lost contact with the number three. It's not too much of a problem there. I'm a little bit worried about the uh, trajectory of the torpedoes. I'm going to tell everyone here to turn back around, I think. Or at least the Atago there, or Atago rather. Mogami, turn harder. Asashio, don't worry about collisions. I'd rather a collision than get hit by a torp. All right, Mogami, I think, should really stop turning. Uh, and Asashio should probably... Can we see the torpedoes a bit better? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay with them. Just need to carry on on our course there. Might tell the Asago to actually hard turn over this way. Should be alright. Tell the Hatsutsuki to come down, I think. Like that, and Tony can come down as well. Uh, did we tell? Where do we tell Nizuki to go? That'll be fine. Okay, we're going to stop turning uh, with Onami there and turn around over here. Can we see where we are with Sendai? It looks like we're just over the sub there. So we're going to turn a little harder, reduce our speed so we get a better contact with that. So we have lost contact with it, and now we're going to stop with the cruiser over here. Okay, so we need to turn our stern over this particular sub with the Sendai. How are we with Onami? Can we spot anything around here? Can't see anything just yet. I think we're going to lose contact with them, to be honest, completely. Don't really want to lose them at all, of course. There's one in front of the Onami, so we do need to turn around. Not too far away from it, though, by the looks of it. Probably should have dropped some depth charges over this one uh, with the Sendai a little earlier. Uh, Asuka can stop now, I think. Okay, I think we're about ready to drop some sort of uh, depth charges over this particular uh, sub. So we're going to adjust our rudder shift so we go straight round. Oh, now we can turn the other way now. If I tell it just to go to attack, that should go straight over. Uh! Hatsutsuki's just spotted some more torpedoes, it's... Ah, oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Um, 
think if we just stop here actually force ourselves to reverse a tad I think we can just about get away with uh, sitting in that gap that was very luckily spotted that was very very luckily spotted actually yeah if we just stop now we should be okay that is so many torpedoes in the water so so many torps in the water but we aren't going to get hit by these that was extremely lucky a full broadside to those torpedoes is the worst possible angle of course so how are we looking with these um, depth charges over here not too sure that we hit any. Let's report. Uh, some hits and moderate flooding there. Certainly not bad. How are we going with old Nami? What's its speed at? 18. Need to slow down. Really need to slow down with that. Hmm. Probably want to get some more depth charges off here. So let's do that. Only expended uh, four, actually. That, oh, three, rather. That's not bad, not bad. Th yeah, four there, not bad at all. For some moderate flooding, I will happily take that. Should certainly get uh, a little quicker on the drop there. That is going to force it to uh, blow its ballast. That's one dealt with. We're going to increase our speed then and turn round so we can get some guns on site there. Going to turn off everyone's fire at will. Don't like that at all, and so that's so that we don't get any friendly fire when we do start firing on this. Yeah, slow down just a tad there, so we can help with our other contacts. We've completely lost contact with the uh, the two and three here, though. Okay, so we've regained contact with the number two, and it is just ahead of the old Nami here. And the number one is thinking about surfacing as well, but that will probably flood out actually. We're on heavy flooding and moderate damage, so we can certainly wait for that um, as much as we like. We're going to stop with the Sendai here. Uh, you know what? A big submarine engagement here was uh, bound to happen at some point. I'm very happy, well actually very lucky rather is what I'm looking for, uh, that we haven't come across it sooner stop with everything else that should be fine they have fired their torpedoes we're all good get a speed up here and I'd like to say very lucky to actually not get a uh, submarine engagement before this looks like the number one's deciding not to um, surface in the end but that's okay we can wait that out could to stay on contact with this particular submarine for now I think I think we might want to change our rudder over just a second. We are going to catch up with it. Just uh, go 12 knots, I think. And increase our turn there. Go back around. Should be just fine. If we turn a little bit more, it'll be just in front of us. And that looks like a decent line. Just needs to get right over it. Can we see it? Yeah, there we go. We're coming just over it now. You can see our silhouette on the uh, surface there. Excellent stuff. Number one sinking. Brilliant. Hit that hard enough. So let's go to the Onami and get this particular sub as well, shall we? Just going to speed up a little bit more now that we can see it right in front of us there. And change our stern over so we get a direct line over. And there we go. We're going to drop some uh, depth charges over it. Right about now, actually. Reduce our speed a little bit so we can match its speed. Perhaps it is going a bit quicker than us. That's okay. There we go. There we go. How did that one go? Heavy damage and heavy flooding. Excellent stuff there. Maybe just drop one or two more just for, just for luck. But it is going down, that wasn't particularly needed. We have lost contact with uh, the third sub, but I'm very happy to get down two in that engagement. So we are going to retreat out. And that is very, very lucky there, I think. Very, very nice indeed. Exactly what sort of subs were those? Were these Gatos or Narwhals? Uh, they were Gatos. Um, it's very, very interesting, actually. Um, we haven't uh, sunk anything else for quite a while, have we? Look at that disparity in the, uh, the time we've uh, sunk things. 
don't even remember doing that to be honest <laughs> But uh, that is absolutely brilliant. So that will uh, hopefully be uh, those subs we saw over there. We are once again going to change our, um, where were we? We were on battle line, weren't we? We want to change our formation to uh, six. And we can swap positions there. So Takao is number two, number one. Yet yeah, we have uh, destroyers leading. Two, three, um, four. Where's Mogami? There we go. Excellent stuff. That's pretty much how you want it, actually. So there, the plan here is to scout out with our faster force uh, to see if we can catch the um, carrier out, perhaps. Then we can move around with Musashi, who's going to sit tight and um, protect at the moment, just in case we get another sneak attack on us. Uh, we are going to move around a little bit with these subs. Not too far, though, because we have been caught out very recently like that. And we are going to move um, our supplies all the way back to Rebool, um, to uh, resupply there. We are going to bring in some troops though, some new troops, as well as supplies uh, with this group. We're gonna bring everything we can just so that we have uh, more supplies and troops on Guadalcanal to defend, especially after that battery. We've just been shown that we absolutely can be taken by surprise there. So we do want to reinforce that. Uh, and that will be looking okay. It's rather a shame that we don't have a level one port there anymore. We could upgrade that now, but uh, we're rather limited on engineering and fuel, and I do want to focus on the airfield. Uh, it will help our radar, of course, going with the, um, the port, but uh, I think uh, we're going for the main objective now that we've had such a, such a major setback. We need to uh, come back with that uh, ourselves. We have totally captured Reynolds Island. Uh, we have launched at least one Jake out to look for that... Um, look for that cruiser task force we're going to launch another one out like that just do some short range scouting ahead of us there we're going to launch another one as well um, this one is going to i think just scout around some mild scouting short range once again like that don't need to use all of its endurance just to get around there that is absolutely fine so i'll see you in a second when we make contact with the enemy hopefully well, it's just not our day, is it? Um, <laughs> going to be very ASW um, heavy this episode, I feel. We've just been intercepted on our carrier group now with at least one submarine. We have already made contact with it because the... Um, well, actually, the sea state is absolutely terrible and so is the visibility. But I suppose it's because it's very, very close to us. Uh, we're going to assume it's not... Um, going to hit the Fubuki here so that is going to go full speed ahead damn the torpedoes of course and uh, go straight for the uh, the submarine there Kazagamo is going to um, I think go f uh, yeah it's going to have to go full speed but it's going to turn to port first going to go full speed with everything else and turn out to port as well uh, with the Hiyo and the Junyo uh, like that uh, Shiryuki and Naganami can actually go full speed and turn out at least to uh, try and get uh, the submarine with our Shiryuki there. Uh, we're going to go full speed and just get out with the Naganami, I think, like so. So let's carry on and hope that we've been right in our judgment of how they fire. Haven't fired just yet. So uh, hopefully... No, I mean they won't fire at all. It does look like it's... Okay, is it... Just bobbing or is it submerging? It's not submerging, it's absolutely firing. Okay, great. <laughs> great, that's what we want to hear. That's exactly what we want to hear, isn't it? Uh, and that is actually not great at all for us. Might just have to carry on with our uh, plan there um, and just hope we work. Uh, we're going to go slower, of course, with Fibberkey now so that we do get a contact with us again. Just gonna have to hope for the best, really. Let's turn back around with um, Kazagamu there and get the Junio and stuff to just go, I think, pretty much in a straight line now, unfortunately. Uh, how are those torpedoes developing? Yeah, we're gonna have to turn around even more here, unfortunately. Tur big, hard, big, hard turn. Big, hard turn. Fubuki has overshot the submarine, unfortunately. Um, that's okay, we could just turn round. Just turn around and take our time with that. I am focusing, of course, on uh, making sure we dodge these torpedoes now. 
because uh, preservation is absolutely key. Uh, if it's the single sub, I don't mind letting that go at the moment, just so long as we dodge these torpedoes, I'm afraid. Uh, we're going to stop turning so much now. Just so I want to, uh, the plan here is to just uh, present a narrow target for those torpedoes. Perhaps we will be able to dodge them. We are going to have to keep turning for that though. Look at that line. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Um, Hio might be lucky enough to actually just dodge those completely if we uh, carry on turning um, port to uh, port around there. Uh, if we stop turning so hard with uh, Junio, might even want to slow down in a second. Want to get uh, the stern of the ship in this little gap here. And I think we've pretty much done that. We slow down, turn a little bit more, and stop turning there. Abuse the underwater view very slightly. I think. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Slow down even more so we don't do that too hard. Come on, get the torpedo beats on. Torpedo beats, please. Torpedo beats, please. Let's stop turning with uh, Hiyo. I think that's going to be fine. Kazagmo, yeah, that's fine. If you just stop now, because you're too far away to do anything about uh, the sub, but we can carry on for sure with um, the uh, Shiryuki and Fubuki. We have dodged with our Junior, and that is absolutely brilliant. That, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was a nail biter. Absolutely a nail biter there. Um, I think what we're going to do is use the uh, Fubuki to spot now for the um, Shiryuki and that can move in and actually hit the um, submarine uh, provided we do get another contact with that. But yeah, our carriers are certainly that much safer now and they can stop. We can focus on actually hunting the uh, submarine now. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ, that was absolutely disgusting. Okay, so we have come into contact with that submarine again. I'm just going to go down to normal speed now because I don't want to overshoot it on five times speed. Didn't take very long to get into contact with this once again, so we are going to increase our speed now. We can see it visually in front of us rather than just uh, relying on the map and our sonars. Um, the problems with the uh, Fubuki's is they don't have such a massive stock as the um, Akazuki's and such do with their depth charges. But if we can hit this, it absolutely doesn't matter really doesn't matter. Uh, we're not too far away from a uh, big port either or big enough to restock either so I think that's what we might try actually uh, once we've done this just to uh, keep things safe and stocked up. So how is our stern looking over that? That's absolutely fine. Have a solution ready just waiting to uh, overshoot it there so let's just uh, fast forward a tad and that will absolutely do to uh, fire over there I think yeah that'd be very nice very much liking these straddling over the uh, submarine there to really put pressure onto it yeah look at that oh that would just get on the rudder as well hopefully no it's gonna just miss there but these explosions will absolutely do the trick there look at that Justice! <laughs> oh, I could not be doing with uh, losing a carrier right now. No, thank you. Did that do that? Didn't do any damage. That was just a little too far away then. Okay. Um, how much? We should really turn into it, shouldn't we? Okay, I'll snap back when we're in a better position, I think. And I think that better position is now. We're going to fire less uh, depth charges now because that did get through rather a loss, actually. Uh, I'm just going to fire off now and hope that uh, hits really, as we always do, and that's looking much better actually. Look at that, two direct hits there, and that should really be pretty good. Yeah, heavy damage. Um, I'm not going to wait though, I'm just going to fire one more salvo off there, and that will fire right on top of them. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. That should be going down any second now. If we take a quick report, it's still on heavy and heavy. We can absolutely wait that out, I think. It may take some time, but it will go down. 
Alrighty then, so we did actually manage to uh, sickness in the end. I did get a little bit impatient and fire off some more depth charges. I am going to go over to uh, Shortland Islands and uh, resupply there. Absolutely not a problem. So uh, again, just uh, scouting out really. Bit unfortunate we didn't get any uh, command points for sinking any of those subs. But you know what, I'll happily just take the uh, um, security now from not having those subs about. Um, still a little bit worried about the fact that we do have one solitary sub from that group of uh, three over here lurking about, but that's oh, it will be all right. What, what's one submarine, eh? What's one submarine going to do to us? <laughs> um, going to scout out with this particular ship at the moment. Do we have a Glen here? No, we don't. That's not a problem. Uh, going to carry on that in the future then. Um, the Glen might actually be this. Actually, indeed, it is. That is absolutely brilliant. So, did forget about that. So we do have extra scousing over there. We can see how much we've concentrated it in this uh, particular area for now. Uh, still not going to pick up anything, is it? But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we shall come back uh, once again when we have sighted the bastard enemies. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of days have passed. We've been reimbursed finally for the Congo, and I've decided to guess out uh, these two submarines just uh, to give us a little bit more presence uh, in the open waters here. And finally, uh, we've... Uh, had some signs as the carrier was going about by some fighters going backwards and forwards just in the open water here we have finally spotted something here so we are going to go in and have a look and see exactly what this is um if it's that ruddy bloody wasp i'd be very happy to know exactly where that is where are we here and it is a bogue so that's a completely new threat here uh, new Alabama as well to uh, worry about and of course a whole host of cruisers it looks like three Clevelands actually that is disgusting uh, <laughs> I know it's uh, two Clevelands in a Brooklyn okay that's, that's, that's not really a, a lot better and of course an Atlanta so hitting this with uh, air power is just not a good idea absolutely not a good idea I'm uh, going to try and get those two submarines, uh, the fresh new submarines over here actually. That would be absolutely ideal. We can hit the battleship and um, the aircraft carrier I think and that would be brilliant. Uh, a new lovely target for our new uh, cruiser task force to come in and get a service engagement with I think. So they are getting some shots out now, we are going to leave. That's all we needed to know. Absolutely fine there. So that was spotted over here. We're going to try and pinch them in then. Uh, we did try and send our I-17 over to um, Milne Bay over there just to have a look, see if there's anything interesting there. But uh, no such luck. We are watching these scouts as well to see exactly where they come from. Jake has respotted the carrier. Absolutely not a problem there. It means we can just keep an eye on that there. Okay, so it looks like we're just about in range of that uh, group. We have just managed by the skin of our teeth to come into contact with us again. Going to push our luck and try and get in a little bit closer than the 10 kilometers though. So we're going to try and do that very quickly. But it looks like it's not going to be the case. So we are just going to, attack, going to go straight into tactical and see what we can get. We are right in front of them and that is excellent. It's dark as well. So, uh, what is visibility? 36%, that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, obviously it hinders us as well. That's not a problem, not a problem at all. Let's identify the ships you want to hit them. Uh, we're gonna go for an Alabama, I believe that would be because we did sink the uh, North Carolinas, wasn't it? Just double check that was the case. Yes, it was indeed. We can tell anyway because um, the Alabamas are, well, the South Dakota, what are they? Yeah, South Dakota ships. I don't know why I call them Alabamas. Because one of them is uh, Alabama? Yeah, do apologize. Um, because they're thicker, really. Um, thicker um, <laughs> displacements. And of course, they have a thicker uh, command tower there as well. So that is exactly what they are. They're South Dakotas. I would love to sink me one of those. Um, so. What have we got here? The I-18 is the one with the most torps available, isn't it? So that's actually going to be the one to uh, target the South Dakota. Um, the I-19 is a Type B. And we got that out because it has the um, the possibility to launch a Glen. So we're going to target the Bogue there, I think. Um, yeah, let's go for the Bogue. I do not like enemy carriers, so let's go for that. Uh, come on, where are we? Bogue, 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 bogue. Lovely stuff. All right, see. Um, how oh, far away are we? Although visibility is only 36%, I'm not sure I want to. Uh, not too sure I want to risk surfacing at the moment either. They might have something in the air. We're just going to go as quickly as possible. 
Uh, let's break and yeah, just carry on straight ahead and go as fast as we can to get in there, I think. Yeah, let's carry on turning out like that. Should be absolutely fine there. We are on their stern a little though. So that is some cause for concern. Yeah, we do have some fighters in the air as well, so we are going to dive down. Going, yes, yeah, certainly going um, to uh, the surface of the water. Absolutely not a good idea there. So we are going to dive down a little and hope they don't spot us. Okay, you know me, I like to get impatient. And to be honest, we are chasing the enemy ships rather than leading them. So we're going to lose the opportunity if we don't strike now, I think. We're going to go for as many torpedoes as we can possibly fire at once. Going to go for a two degree spread on both ships because, of course, that will get rather wide um, when as uh, they approach. So what we're hoping for really is um, just any source of collateral damage or any hits on the formation uh, that we can get at all. So let's just all fire off, really. So we can do terrible, terrible solutions. But um, what do we want to do there? Absolutely terrible solutions, to be honest. But we're going to fire off anyway. Gonna certainly fire off anyway and just hope we get any sorts of hits here to be honest. Uh, we could certainly come in closer in the future. Uh, they're not particularly threatening us at the moment, so we can let this go if need be. Just gonna be a little bit frustrated if we don't hit anything. Okay, so unfortunately our first group of torpedoes from the I-18 did in fact completely miss. You can see them coming off of the bow of the South Dakota now. But our second group, actually with the worst solution, they might just clip the uh, Cleveland here. And then we might might just get a couple in the Bogue or some other straggling ship there. And that would be absolutely ideal. Do not mind any sorts of hits, like we said, in this particular engagement. Uh, especially with the absolutely terrible uh, solutions that we had and two hits here look like we're gonna get them looks like we're gonna get them oh one two brilliant stuff oh that is a devastating hit um, on that Cleveland there look at the fires there the floods would be astronomical as well uh, that is very nice like coconut rice there absolutely <laughs> this delicious <laughs> sort of hit there. Uh, can we see the other? It looks like the Bogue might just escape a couple of these torpedo hits. But it's looking like it might just run into the uh, forward torpedo here if uh, we're lucky. Although having said that, these two torpedoes are looking pretty good. We're definitely going to get two more hits here, I think. No, 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 no. Instantly re Yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely stuff. I was hesitating there to say that. Eating my words almost instantly there for a lovely couple hits on the Bogue. And that was with a 17% solution. That is... Oh, very, very happy to take that. Very, very happy to take that. Uh, we'll see what happens, how the uh, floods and fires develop there. Uh, let's bring up the UI once again to see how our torpedoes are going. Certainly not going to hit anything else, are they? Uh, looks like um, Cleveland here is going to dodge the torpedoes, but that is that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's take a report, shall we? Critical damage on those two hits. That is brilliant stuff. We're certainly waiting around for that. Very, very happy about that. You know what? We've uh, wasted the torpedoes from the eye. There we go. Oh, and the and the Cleveland sinking as well. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful there. Oh, submarines have absolutely won us this game so far, haven't they? Really not let us down whatsoever. You just wouldn't get that with American subs, I feel absolutely wouldn't get that but that's the sixth bogue that we've destroyed now so there are five left and uh, getting that Cleveland now has made has opened up uh, some opportunities um, or at least made some opportunities easier for us that is I'm very very happy about that let's uh, retreat them go back to the strategic map and it might not be what we aimed at We've certainly got one of the main targets and getting that Cleveland I'm very very happy about so we're going to carry on and chase that down these wildcats will have nowhere to go looks like we've got some Avengers coming in but it is now 7 in the evening uh, 1904 hours um, so they should really disappear to be honest they should be trying to go back home 
We'll see how that develops. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have it on the good authority of the uh, strategic map that we're right on top of um, the previous uh, task force that we have just hit. And looking at the map, it looks like we're in a perfect position to hit them here. Absolutely perfect position. Um, gonna have a quick look at what sort of range we're at with them. We are 8.7 kilometers away. You know what? I'm going to very briefly, very briefly, go to uh, the surface of the water because it is night time. Visibility is 30%. Um, and we're going to increase our speed once we get up. We are, of course, going to break just so it's uh, easier to command these submarines. Going to absolutely target the battleship once again. Said so the battleship once again. Is this a different one? Is this, am I, am I being stupid? Is this a different task force? Where is the battleship? Give me battleship. Looks like the same one. No, it doesn't actually. No, it is, there we go. Very, too dark for me. Too dark for me. <laughs> Absolute idiot there. Um, but you know what? Um, the position of the battleship there is actually very ideal for us very very ideal indeed uh, just going to increase our speed a little bit so we get in a bit closer and a turn around as well with that particular submarine because it's going wherever the hell it wants there not ideal um, this particular sub can target I think the outside cruiser here and we're going to identify that as a Cleveland I think absolutely there okay where are we uh, da -da 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 -da. Cleveland, come on. There we go. Easy game. So that is going for South Dakota. This one is going for Cleveland. Uh, so long as this decides to actually turn around, finally it is. That's brilliant. I'm losing sight of them as we move our nose away. Not a problem. Uh, that is actually targeting something else. Let's go build up on the Cleveland. Not a problem there. And now we can stop turning with that. Just get a little bit closer. I want to get really um, to about uh, five or six kilometers away from them. And then we can submerge properly. So let's, I think, go towards that. We are going at 20 knots pretty much with both of our ships here. And that should be a decent lead on them there. So, let's just fast forward a little bit. Hmm, should be okay there, should be okay. We will dive down to periscope depth shortly, I think, when we get towards the six kilometer mark from that Cleveland, because of course we do have a destroyer leading them, and that will pick us up a bit easier. So, we're gonna go down, let's slow down the speed now of the game take this a little bit uh, more seriously can we see them uh, through our binoculars uh, just about making them out here on my screen of course you can only go at surface uh, uh, level during the night time just to get some cheeky uh, distance between you close that gap a bit easier um, we are being rather slow, that's not a problem. Let's increase the speed once again. And once we get to, uh, I think, yep, let's dive down now, I think, to periscope depth because we're very close to that destroyer. What is the distance to that destroyer in particular? Yeah, 4.5. Uh, They're going to absolutely spot us soon if we don't go to periscope depth. So let's calm down on our speed, I think. Let's calm down on our speed because they will be able to spot us very, very easily if we're uh, four kilometers or less, I feel. Absolutely know we're here. Dive, damn it, dive. We should have done this earlier. The hardest dive is, of course, going from uh, surface to periscope. It looks like we'll just about make it, though. Let's slow down once again. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Let's speed up once again going to mind the distance uh, to that destroyer once again and uh, we can think actually about 
probably dive down a little further actually. We're going to dive to 30 meters below. And I think what we're going to do is reduce our speed. Reduce the uh, look at all the cavitation we're causing with that speed. Just look at it. A real froth. Frothing at the mouth for these tasty, tasty kills. The tasty, tasty sinkages we're going to get. Okay, so we've made it to uh, periscope depth uh, rather safely. Um, our solutions uh, aren't, obviously aren't ideal, but they weren't last time either. And we can't hear any sonar pings, so I think this is as close as we're going to get. So uh, once again, we're firing off as many torpedoes as possible, it's a two degree spread, I think. And that will be absolutely ruddy bloody fantastic, I feel. Um, hmm. Do you want to fire all eight from here? Yeah, let's fire all eight from here, that'll do. All eight. Eight is your mate. That's the rhyme. That's how it goes. That's the rule. And then, we've been very stealthy. Hopefully we'll get something else in this uh, engagement. Be very, very sneaky breaky. Torpedoes looking very nice on the Cleveland there. Very nice little stream going directly for its midships there. How are they looking on the South Dakota there? Not looking too bad either. This might be a dis yeah, absolutely destroyed Cleveland. He's going to eat all of them. He's going to eat all of them. Maybe we did need all of the torpedoes, but you never know. You never know. Look at that. Look at that. Disgusting amount of torpedoes. Is this... Yeah, he's definitely going to take a few here. Look at that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Would have liked them to be a little more spread out. Maybe we should have gone for a three degree spread or a four. Wasn't expecting the two degrees to be quite so tight there. But the Cleveland's down. Excellent stuff. Very, very happy with that. And the fires on this ship. Look at that. Cersei lighting up the night sky for us. <laughs> And it appears they have no idea where we are. Searchlight's not on. Moving in completely the wrong direction to spot us. Let's take a report on this uh, ship, shall we? Critical damage, as it ruddy bloody should be there. As it ruddy bloody should be. Oh, yeah. That, that, the list, list is not the word here. <laughs> Absolutely ruddy bloody submerged is the term there, and it is sinking! Brilliant stuff! Feel very good about that. It's a very nice comeback from the, the losses we took uh, the other day. Um, so on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I've certainly enjoyed it. <laughs> so uh, I've been the Edified Gamer. Hope to hear your feedback in the section below, as ever. And I shall see you in the future. I hope your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.